First, I'm just brushing out my damp hair using my macadamia no tangle brush and then brushing it up into a ponytail and smoothing that out with my hands. Next, I'm just going to take a hairband and tie that around the base of my ponytail and making sure that that's super secure. To make your own bun form from a sock, cut off the toe and roll it down. Try to use one the same color as your hair. You can either use this or a pre-made mesh bun form. I'll be taking this and threading through my ponytail. Next, spread your hair around the donut shape. Make sure that your hair is covering your bun form. You can use a comb to smooth out any of the edges to make sure that it looks really neat. Once your bun form is covered, you can start tucking your hair underneath your bun form. Just stick to tucking in one direction, and once that you've tucked all the way around, you're going to have an extra piece of hair that you're going to take and wrap around the base of your bun to secure it. Make sure to pull that pretty tight, and then if you desire a bigger bun, you can just pull the edges like this. Then just take some bobby pins and start to pin around the base of your bun. The cool thing about the mesh bun form is that you can stick the bobby pins right in. I also go in and clip any baby hairs in the back of my head as well as by my hairline. That's about it for the sock bun, so let's talk about the first way to spice it up to accessorize. This is my favorite bow from Forever 21 and I love to put it in the back right underneath my bun. This is super easy and super cute. Another great way to accessorize is to take a headband, put the stretchy part in front of your bun, then wrap it around for an adorable way to spice up your boring bun. Try out different headbands to see what kind of look you can get. I also like to take this beaded bracelet that I have and just tie it around my bun. See what kind of jewelry you have in your collection to make your bun special. Next up, I have my favorite, the lace braided bun. Starting out again with a ponytail, you're going to leave out a small section of hair. Now just take the rest of your ponytail and thread it through your bun form, leaving out that small piece of hair. Now smooth out your ponytail around the donut. Then you can reach underneath and find that little piece of hair that we took out. You're going to take that and two other small sections to start a Dutch lace braid. You're going to take the middle section and cross it over the top section, and then take that new middle section and cross it over the bottom section. Then you're going to add hair to the top section before crossing the middle section over that top section. And here's what makes it a lace braid. You're not going to add any hair when you cross the bottom section under the middle section. You're going to continue this all the way around your bun, making sure that you only add hair to the top. So again, you're going to add hair to the top section, cross it under the middle, and then cross the bottom section under the middle. And then you're just going to add section to the top, cross it under, and then cross the bottom section under. Once you run out of hair to add, you're just going to finish it off with a regular braid and then tie it off with a hair tie. You're going to have a small section in the back that's not covered by any hair, but we're going to fix that in just a second. You're going to shift your hair around the bun form so that it covers all of it. Make sure that you shift your braid so that the part that you want to show is in the front, and then wrap the rest of your braid underneath and secure it at the base of your bun. Just pin down any pieces that you see are a problem, and then I like to kind of manipulate my braid so that it sticks out a little bit more, and so that you can see the entire braid, and I like to pin it into place that way. And that's your lace braided bun completed. Let's move on to the third way to spice up your bun, what I like to call the French rope. First, you're going to want to part your hair on one side, and then take it two small sections, and cross the front section over the back section, and then add a section to that new front section and cross that over the back. Now you're just twisting these two pieces together, adding a piece from the front every time that you twist back. 
These two sections are constantly trading places and every time that they do, you're just adding a section from the front. Once you've reached to about here, you're going to take your two sections and you're going to twist them in the same direction. So I'm twisting mine both to the right here and then I'm going to be twisting them together to the left. So again, you're gonna twist to the right and then twist to the left, whatever direction your twist is already going in. You wanna make sure to do this to the remaining part of your rope braid so that it stays secure when we tie it. Once you get a sense of the directions, it's really easy. All you have to do is just twist in one way and then twist the other way. Once you've worked your way down enough, you're going to secure it with a hair tie and then just pull the rest of your hair up into a ponytail. Just make sure that it's all smooth around the crown since you do have some hair taken from the front and then just secure a ponytail with a hair tie. Next, I'm just threading my sock through my ponytail for a smaller bun, and I'm going to be putting that around it and then tucking under the edges like our first sock bun. I like to use the actual sock for my bun when I want a smaller, kind of more messy bun. Then I just take it and bobby pin the edges like we did with the first sock bun, and then pin down any of the edges that I don't like with my French rope. And that's it for your French rope braid. I think that this one's really interesting and elegant. I hope you guys enjoyed the three ways to spice up your bun. And as always, thanks for watching. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be showing you my 10 favorites under $10. And you guys know I like it cheap, can't have it any other way. I really love these products because you can't even tell that they're cheap. They're really good quality 